Hey there, my name is Gabriel Morris, and the title of this video is Take Charge of Your Enlightenment. And what I want to try to convey is simply the importance of seizing your spiritual path and your life as, uh, as your path, and you're the one making the decisions. Um, Spiritual teachers are uh, invaluable, extremely important, no doubt about it. There are many different ways to approach the spiritual path and life. There are certain um, structured uh, spiritual practices, and I don't mean to demean them at all. You know, uh, finding something such as a, a basic meditation rhythm and that flow of just following um, following a, uh, a routine prescribed by someone else. But I think ultimately it's really time to um, take full control and responsibility of our life and our spiritual path and recognize that the truth is within us, that um, what is needed for our, our own personal uh, is subjective to us. There isn't just one template of, you know, here's the right um, spiritual approach, and so everybody take this approach and then you'll be fine. We are all at different points on the, on the path. We're all um, uh, coming from a different set of experiences. We all have different strengths. We all have different weaknesses, things that we need to focus on. Um, we are so individual and so unique, and uh, so simply allowing somebody else to prescribe to us, this is what you should do um, in order to propel yourself and evolve your soul along the spiritual path, um, I think uh, has some real limitations. Has some benefits too, of course. Uh, and so if it, if it is your uh, taking responsibility to say, this um, prescribed spiritual approach works for me, I'm going to go with it, then, then go with it. But uh, it is important to acknowledge that that is your choice to be made. It isn't up to your parents, it isn't up to your priest, it isn't up to your lama, um, uh, to Jesus, um, Buddha, Krishna, Muhammad, um, Lao Tzu, uh, Zarathustra, I don't know if I got that one right, Zor Zoroaster, whichever, whichever uh, your spiritual hero might be, don't let them override your own personal will. Don't let somebody else make your ultimate decisions for you and take responsibility for your life uh, and for your life's path. Um, ultimately, you have to be connected with truths within. If you, if you aren't able to distinguish for yourself what is the right decision for yourself at that time or what isn't the right decision for yourself at that time, then what is the point? What is the point of living a life in which someone else is making your decisions for you and telling you this is how you should live your life and this is what you should do. What is the point in that? You're just following um, society and uh, authority figures robotically. What are you gonna What are you gonna really learn from that in your life by taking that approach? So, um, I just want to encourage people to claim your path as your path um, and uh, honor your own uh, decision-making process, your own truth, your own feelings, your own intuition, um, and, and go with them. Because the best way to truly learn the lessons that you need to learn is to make your choices and uh, pay the consequences as it, as it unfolds. It may not necessarily be the, uh, the easiest path on Kind of winging it um, while simultaneously reading voraciously, going to workshops like crazy, um, uh, you know, so much for the information that other spiritual teachers have to offer me, learning a great deal from those, and then incorporating them into my own life. Making my decisions and my choices and, and uh, tailoring my own spiritual path based 
based on these um, these other teachings from others as well as my own personal experiences. Um, so the the spiritual path really should not be about Whatever you uh, discover within, uh, that is that is something real. Whatever is within you is part of you, and the best way to truly learn about yourself, learn about life, and uh, make some some real and concrete um, progress along the spiritual path is discover what is what is actually inside you, um, and. That can't necessarily be done by following somebody else's prescribed routine or regimen of how to approach life um, and uh, getting to know yourself better and evolving your soul. Um, but uh, instead, trust yourself to make the decisions that are best for you in this, in this moment and find yourself in the process. Um, because it is time for all of us to connect with truth, not just spiritual leaders, not just a designated authority who is supposedly connected to God and then dictates the truth to us, but for um, individuals in general around the planet to truly connect into the truth of life itself within themselves and be living that truth because they know that truth, because they're connected with that truth, because they've they've uh, tapped into the source of divine energy within and they are living living that truth um, from their heart because because they've connected with their own heart um, and found what is what is truly inside there so um, just a uh, word from my own from my own truth from my own spiritual path of um, trusting trusting myself to um, take charge of my life and uh, take responsibility, deal with the consequences, whatever they may be, and learn from them. Um, I've had some very intense, difficult, challenging, profound learning experiences along the way, but here I am. I lived to tell the tale. I survived it. I've got a smile on my, my face at the moment anyways. Um, and uh, I am uh, grateful for everything that I've experienced in this life, the good times and the tough times, for teaching me what they have taught me. And it has definitely taught me a lot. So, thanks for watching. Have a nice day.